about some strategies subtracting decimals that involve hundredths. So for example, if I have 0.69 or 69 hundredths, and from that I want to subtract 0.34 or 34 hundredths, what is that going to be? Pause this video and see if you can compute this. So there's a bunch of ways to think about it. One way to think about it is this is 69 hundredths hundredths, and from that we are subtracting 34 hundredths, hundredths. And so this boils down to I have 69 of something, in this case hundredths, in this case hundredths, and I'm going to take away 34 of them. So what am I left with? Well, what's 69 minus 34? Well, 9 ones minus 30, or I should say 9 minus 4 is going to be 5. And 60 minus 30 is going to be 30. So I'm left with 35 hundredths, hundredths, which I can write as 0.35. Now another way I could think about it is I could break up the tenths and then the leftover hundredths. So I could view this as 6 tenths, let me circle that a little bit better, 6 tenths minus 3 tenths, So 6 tenths minus 3 minus 3 tenths plus 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 9 hundredths minus 4 hundredths. So plus 9 hundredths minus 4 hundredths. And we're going to get the same answer. So I have 6 tenths and I take away 3 of them. That's going to give me 3 tenths, or I could just write that as 0.3. And then to that, I would have to add 9 hundredths minus 4 hundredths is 5 hundredths. So 0.05. So 3 tenths and 5 hundredths is going to be 35 hundredths, or we could just write it this way. We could write it as 3 tenths, we have a 3 in the tenths place, and 5 hundredths, let me do that blue color, and 5 hundredths. Or we could view that as 35 hundredths. However way, these are different ways of thinking about subtracting these hundredths. Let's do, let's do another example. So let's say we want to compute, so we would like to compute, and this actually will probably be a little bit more straightforward, 3 and 43 hundredths minus 2. What is this going to be equal to? Pause the video and see if you can figure it out. Well, it might jump out at you that this is the same thing as 3 plus 43 hundredths minus 2. And so you can just look at the ones. You can look at the holes. We have three holes, and we're going to take away two of them. So we're going to be left with one hole, and we still have this 43 hundredths. So we still have this 43 hundredths. So it's going to be 1 and 43 hundredths. Or we could write that as 1.43. So that one maybe was a little bit more straightforward. But now let's kind of combine the ideas of these last two examples into one that might seem a little bit more daunting. So let's say that we want to subtract, we want to figure out what 65.79 minus 42.58 is. Pause the video and see if you can figure this out. So multiple ways to do this. You could separate the whole numbers. So you could say this is 65 minus 42. 65 minus 42 plus, and then think about the, and then think about the hundredths. Plus 79 hundredths, so 79 hundredths. Minus 58 hundredths, minus 58 hundredths. And I just, I'll rewrite this in words just to reinforce this 79 of something, 79 hundredths. You could say it's 7 tenths and 9 hundredths, but it's the same thing as 79 hundredths. Hundredths. This is 58 hundredths. Hundredths. And so 65 minus 42, 5 minus 2. Though on the ones, we're going to get 3. And then 60 minus 40 is equal to 20. So we have 23 plus 
23 plus. Now 79 hundredths minus 58 hundredths. 70 minus 50 is 20. And 9 minus 8 is 1. So this is going to be 21 hundredths, which we can write as 0 0.21, 21 hundredths. And so when we compute this, it'll be 23 and 21 and 21 hundredths. And this is just one way to tackle it. There are multiple ways that you could try to tackle a subtraction problem like this.